I'm home from work. I'm starting the video this time before I go to sleep. I don't normally do that. But today is different because I'm actually making something right now. Because look at my fridge. And I found this. A bunch of pizza dough. I will make a pizza. I like to cook it on a stone. And put some olive oil onto the stone. Just a little bit. Also, some Parmesan cheese sprinkled onto the onto the stone as well. Now I will get my dough. Okay, I've got my dough spread out on my stone. I like a thin crust, so I spread it really thin, about an eighth of an inch thick. Now I just need to add the sauce, the cheese, Parmesan and Romano cheese, and pepperoni. Just a basic pepperoni pizza with olive oil and Parmesan cheese. Yeah. I'm going to try something new on my pizza that I've never tried before. I don't know if it will be good, but we'll see. This is my idea. Nacho cheese. I only have a little bit left. I'm going to mix it with the sauce and make like a, I don't know, a Mexican spicy cheese sauce pizza. There we go. That's my sauce. So I'll mix that up and then spread it around. Put the cheese on, put the pepperonis on, throw it in the oven until it's done. There it is, my finished pizza. Into the oven. 375 degrees. Pizza go in. And we wait till it's done. Let's check on it. It's getting there. Almost. I'll leave the heat in. One thing I like about cooking on a stone is that you can cook the top and the bottom separately because the stone will stay hot. So if the top looks done, but the bottom is still too soft, it's not like a crisp crust. Not to the point where you can taste that it's, you know, burnt. No burnt flavor, but strong enough to hold up the slice. You can take the pizza out and the top will stop cooking because it's out of the heat, but the bottom will continue to cook until it gets just to the right crispiness. Then you take it off the stone, and it's perfect. It's done. I'm just waiting now for the pieces to uh, get a little crispier on the bottom. But anyway, that's how you make a pizza. It's not very hard. So, anyway, I'm going to have some dinner, and then go to sleep, and then tomorrow, hopefully. Well, no, it is today. Later today, hopefully, is something cool. You will find out right now. Okay, I have a bunch of rope right here. And I will start construction on the tower. I've already done one. Square lashing probably can be reinforced. I will do it again. And I will show you the process of how to do it. I'm not sure how I can show this because I need two hands to tie it, but I'm also I have to hold the camera. So, hmm. I don't know. Let me see if I, if I can come over here. Maybe. If I set this here, I don't know if you'll be able to see well, but <clears throat> this is how I tie a clove. It's just gonna be seen from the back, but. Clove hitch, you make one loop, then you make a second loop in the same direction, and you put the second one behind the first one. And then, it'd be hard to tell, but it kind of. There's two ropes underneath that go out, and then there's one across the top that holds them all together. And then you take. You know, maybe you'll see this. Because, but, okay. You take your loops, slide them over the end, and tighten it. There. 
Now you have, so the rope comes in the end right here, goes in, goes around twice, and then when it comes out, it goes underneath here and out to the long rope. And that rope will be used to wrap around both of these connections, and uh, I'll show you how that goes right now. Okay, so after I tie the knot on, I go up, and then I go under here, and then over the top, and then under there, over and under, over and under. I go around three times, and I, I use this stick, and I wrap the rope around it and pull it tight every time I go to this point. So I've gone around three times, and now I will just go around in a circle around there, pull that tight, and that will, uh, you know, I pull these ropes really tight, and then when I wrap it around and pull that tight, it just squeezes it all together, makes it even tighter. So, I'm gonna do that now. So there's my first one. Good and tight, you know, doesn't slide around. If the rope is really hard, like, yeah, it's really tight. So, gotta do that on all four of these corners. That one's out of the way. Yeah, so I'll put one with that corner. This corner. Those two. And then this corner. And then I gotta make the verticals. And then do diagonal lashings on the supports. And then do squares up here. And all around everywhere. So I got the four corners tied and I got this one triple corner tied up and one vertical. So now the next step is to take this stick here and tie it there and at the bottom to give this vertical some support. So that's what I'll do now.